Good morning, everybody. Welcome to a weekend vlog. It is Saturday morning at about 8 a.m. I'm so tired. <laughs> we stayed up late for us late is like midnight last night watching the Netflix docuseries called American Nightmare and then I couldn't sleep because it traumatized me so much it was so scary but we survived the night and we're doing our like typical Saturday morning routine for the last like month almost or maybe this is the third or fourth weekend I can't remember but we've been hiking in the mornings on Saturday it's just like a nice way to kickstart the weekend get the endorphins going you know but I'm on my period and I am not well so I just took a lot of ibuprofen and hopefully it'll start kicking in soon and then I will feel a little more normal and I'll be my usual self but right now I'm at about 50% of a human if that. Here's my hiking outfit of the day. This is a sweatshirt that I thrifted I think from the bins. It says San Francisco. I've only been there one time. I have my, I think these leggings are <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were in your office. No, it's okay. I don't know where my leggings are from. And my shoes are my Walmart hocus. Woke my Wokas, as Drew calls them. They were like a dupe. What what do you have on? Oh, you also have bins. Yeah. Some I some I don't know who got it for me from the bins. Some girl. You got me this for my birthday. Mm-hmm. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Um, I think I got these from Costco. Nice. Adidas. Adidas. If you say it, if you say Adidas, like how we say it in the US, around like an English person, an Australian person, they like get really mad. And then I have hope. real hope. He's got the real hope. I got the fakies. I got my wraparounds. I gotta get some Cause you can take the girl out of the South, but you can't take the South out of the girl. Where she is, <laughs> Kristen Joe. Anyway, we're gonna go hiking. I'm not that excited about it at all, so it'll feel really good afterwards. Something we kind of anticipated but didn't think it was gonna happen yet is this. Whoops. So, <laughs> it's looking like it's gonna be a wet one. I'm so glad I washed my hair yesterday. All right, this will wake you up. You're washing it again. Let's do it. <laughs> I just walked through a bush. <laughs> I'm already wet. It's okay, it'll be worth it in the end. <laughs> it's not waterproof. We're taking shelter under a tree right now. Like fully, We're almost fully dead. drenched, but we did it. <laughs> It's the next day. We just got ourselves dressed and ready. We are out of bed and it's 921. I've been up since like six. I just have a really bad habit of laying in bed for a long time. Um, also, this is what my hair looks like after having it get wet in the rain yesterday. Like my hair has completely changed texture. I talked about this on Instagram. I don't know, it probably started two, three years ago, two years ago, where I just noticed that my hair texture was like way more frizzy, like it wasn't drying the same. I used to air dry my hair like pretty much my whole life. Lately, when I air dry my hair, it starts looking like this. And so I'm like, wait, do I actually have like wavy texture and I didn't know it? And then so many of you on Instagram DM'd me and were like, yes, my hair completely changed texture in like my teens or my 20s or my 30s. So apparently that's a thing that can happen. Like, hold on, I need to show you without this beanie on. This is my hair. Okay, we're gonna forgive the, the hat hair, but like this is literally my hair after air drying yesterday. Kind of crazy, like you can definitely tell underneath. And I think this side is a little more, cause I like took a nap. <laughs> kind of something to think about. Like I do genuinely think 
my hair texture has, has changed. Anyway, random side note, but it is Sunday, so that means our little Sunday fun day. We're gonna go out for a little walk. We're gonna stop and get some coffee. We're gonna stop by the farmer's market, I think. And then I also think we're gonna swing by Whole Foods because we wanna pick up a couple little things. So I got dressed. I'm like trying to wear <laughs> some things that I bought that I don't really wear that often. I have a main channel video coming up where I talk about like trends and products that I regret buying. And this is one of them, but I am trying to wear it because I don't know, I'm just trying to make use of the things that I have. It's very dark in here, but this is my little outfit. So I have my Spice Girls tee on, which I would never regret buying. Are you kidding? Me and the girlies are out today. I have this kind of like military style liner from Poshmark, but it's, um, it's camo on the inside and I didn't know it, but like not the type of camo that I like. So anyway, we'll see. I'm, I don't think you can really tell when I'm wearing it. And then I just have, um, flared leggings on because I'm walking. We're going to be taking a lot of steps, so I want to be comfortable. And then I have these on Onitsuka Tigers. These are the Mexico 66 sneakers, and I was fully influenced by my friend Karina. She wore these to Disneyland over the summer, and I fell in love with them. It's taken me a while to find them. I actually found these on Madewell, surprisingly, so that's exciting. And then we have my prescription glasses and my thrifted beanie, so let's go. We did get some farmer's market flowers this morning. Look how beautiful these are. These are called amaranths, I think. Aren't these also called like bleeding hearts or something? I'm not sure, um, but they're beautiful. And then we also got like a similar, similar color. We're gonna do like a monochromatic thing. These are, I think, snapdragons. And look how pretty those are. Gorgeous. We kind of have all the stuff mixed in together. From the farmer's market, we got some eggs. We've never gotten eggs from this farmer's market. I don't think this person has always been there. We got a dozen organic eggs. Look at that, beautiful. Kind of expensive, so they better be good. $300 <laughs> per egg. Honestly, LA does kind of have crazy prices, but that's okay. We also got some French pastries. Mm -hmm. They look so good. good. Drew got a pistachio croissant. Look at this thing. This thing weighs like two pounds. It's heavy, it's gotta be filled. It you want to get a plate? Good. So we have the pistachio croissant. Wow. A can can Canale. Canale. Oh, it's got some cream on it and a pistachio filled like bun donut thing. So those look amazing. Those are mostly for Drew, but I'm going to have a bite of some. They look really, really good. Wow. Wow. We got, oh my God, I'm so excited. When we walked up, they had Harry's Berries which I was so excited about. I was like, in January? I'm not complaining. They're like bigger than usual, but oh my God, I can smell them already. I'm gonna tear into these. These are the world's best strawberries. You hear that crunch on this cannoli? Oh, <laughs> a little mm. ASMR mm. for you. Mm. It's okay. good. I've never had a cannoli before. Looks doughy. Yeah, they bake it with like beeswax on the outside. Mm. Very nice. We got some vegetables. We got a big old thing of broccoli, because why not? You can always use broccoli. And then we got, they dumped them in the same bag, but we got some like mini zucchinis and squashes, and then also some Brussels sprouts. So those are all together. We can put them in our cute little fruit holder thingies. And then at Whole Foods, we just got random stuff. This isn't our groceries for the week. This isn't like our main thing. It's just like sometimes we like to go to the grocery store and get stuff for funsies. So we got some, we saw that Kava has their own brand of like hummuses and stuff at Whole Foods. I had no idea. So we got their spicy hummus and the harissa. And so we're gonna try to recreate like a kava bowl. We got, oh my God, we're so excited about this. I've seen everyone talking about these on social media, these granola butters by Oat House and they have a cookie dough flavor. So I'm like, yeah, I wanna try that, obviously. 
It says you can spread it, blend it, or drizzle it. We'll try that. I got, I don't know, I just saw this and it looked Where's good. That? This is Coco June Passion Fruit Coconut Yogurt. I've never had it, but I like passion fruit. Um, we got some pad thai noodles, some rice noodles to make like various dishes and such. We got some cauliflower chicken tenders. These are really good. It's like cauliflower breading outside of the chicken. Really, really good. We've had those before. Um, we got some siete, what are these? Mexican chocolate flavored cookies, delicious. I think I've had these before and I can't remember if I liked them or not, but I just wanted to try them. And they're the Rhythm Organic Kale Chips in the zesty nacho flavor. Zesty I'm like, nacho. sure, that sounds really good. We got two avocados. We got the absolute greenest, hardest avocados for like brunch next weekend. <laughs> Cause we end up getting too many avocados when we throw them out. I got my golden kiwis. If you know, you know, I'm obsessed. I've been eating those for years. Um, we got some salt and vinegar flavored pistachios. I didn't know that was a thing, but that sounds amazing. I got my perfect bars, which are my favorite granola bars. I get the chocolate chip flavor, chocolate chip peanut butter. And then finally, we got two, oh, never mind. We have one more thing. We have culture pop soda. Drew got it to try. It's strawberry rhubarb flavor. And then finally, we got two cauliflower frozen pizzas to keep in the freezer. So we have a veggie and a pepperoni. And that's our little Sunday morning outing. I'm not sure what else we have planned for the day. Absolutely not. Probably a nap and a lot of nothing, but maybe we'll put this stuff away, arrange the flowers, and then see what we get up to. Okay, I'm gonna try a bite of this croissant. Look at that. Look at the layers. Is it really good? Oh, the, the pistachio cream is pretty sweet. Dang. <laughs> you can try a bite of this one? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I should have got a raspberry one, but I just really like the statue of flavor. 10 out of 10. Alright, it is much, much later. It is like 9 p.m. now and I am figuring out what I want to wear tomorrow. It's tomorrow morning. I am going back to the bins with Alexa. I'm so excited. We haven't been, God, I don't even know the last time. Probably like October, November. I think it was October when we got back from England. So that's gonna be really nice, but it's gonna be pouring rain tomorrow. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear because I have to leave the house at 7.30 a.m. <laughs> like it's a very, it's gonna be a very early day. Luckily, I'm just gonna do like a slicked back bun because my hair is a mess and like why do my hair before it rains? I'm thinking just like, like comfy pants or like a maxi skirt, like something easy, quick, and then maybe like a big sweater is what I'm, what I'm going for. So I'm gonna pack my little bag bring like a little snack, bring my water bottle, charge my battery, and that's really it. So we are gonna pick that out, go to bed. I honestly, here's the thing. I didn't wanna do anything this weekend. I showed our little morning routines. It was like we did our hike on Saturday and then we chilled on the couch for the rest of the day. And then we did our thing today and then we chilled on the couch for the rest of the day. Took like two naps, it was glorious. And that's just the way you gotta do weekends, isn't it? Okay, sorry, I'm distracted. I'm thinking about what to wear. So I'm gonna worry about that and pack up my bag and then I will check in with you either tonight or tomorrow morning, bright and early. Hello everybody, good morning. It is the next morning. I don't know if you can see me, but I can't really focus on that right now because I am driving, but I am <gasps> so annoyed because it, listen, this is just part of what happens. The same thing happens in Arizona. When it rains in California, just all bets are off. Like people don't know how to drive in the rain, obviously, because it never rains. And it just starts getting a little wacky. So this morning, was supposed to meet Alexa at the bins. You know, we both got up super early to make sure this happened. The bins open at 9 a.m., but it's better to be there around 8.30 so you can hold your place in line because as soon as they open, it is like carnage. It is literally like the cafeteria scene in Mean Girls. People are acting crazy and grabbing carts and just grabbing clothes left and right. But it's like fun, you know? It's part of the fun. So in order to make sure that you have a spot in line and to get a cart, which is very important because they run out of carts like instantly, you have to get in line and line up before they open. So that's what we always do. We usually get there around 8.30 so that we can have our place in line and then get right in at nine and get our things. So anyway, um, we were supposed to get there at 8.30 <laughs> 
and I left the house at 7.20, I believe, because it usually takes about an hour to get there. I was running a little bit late, but 7.20 is fine. So I get in my car, map says it's gonna take an hour and 13 minutes to get there or something. So I was like, ooh, okay, gonna be a little bit late. I'm gonna be there at 8.33. Not ideal because Alexa will already be there waiting, likely. And then I will have to, you know, film my intro, all that kind of stuff. But I was like, it's fine, we'll get there. So I get in the car, I get going, it goes from, I'm gonna get there at like 8.33, then it's like 8.38, then it's like 8.40, then it's 8.43, then it's 8.50, then it's 8.55, and at this point I'm like, okay, this isn't gonna work, because sure, Alexa can have her spot in line, but we're not gonna, there's not gonna be any carts, like if I, you know, if she goes ahead of me, that's it. So then it starts saying nine o'clock, 9.09? And it just keeps going up and up and up because everywhere I'm going is these long stretches of like red on my maps, right? Like, you know, when it turns red and it's like 19 minutes, 14 minutes, 17 minutes, like everywhere I'm going, I'm stopping and it's saying that. So then I called Alexa and I was like, what should we do? Like, I'm gonna be late, I feel so bad. And she was like, don't feel bad at all, it's totally fine. So we pivoted and now we're gonna go to a Savers instead of the Goodwill bins, which is a bummer because the bins are fun. But now we're gonna have like a full thrifting day. They open at 10, so we'll get there early. So we'll be there first thing. So that's good. It's just like, I left my house at 7.20 in the morning to only get to the thrift store that I need to get to by like 9.15. Like that's, it took me almost two hours. Anyways, I'm done ranting now. I just thought I would share. Sometimes like when I turn on the camera, I'm like, what am I even saying? Like, why am I sharing this? But it's just my life. So that's what's happening in my life currently. I am <laughs> waiting to go to this Savers. And actually, Alexa and I haven't been to this Savers together in probably like a year. So it'll be really fun. We can have a lot more freedom and the things won't be picked over and we won't have to worry if we get a card or not. It'll be fine. So Alexa and I haven't seen each other since before Christmas. That can't be right. No, like literally. So I'm so excited to see her and catch up and have a fun little girls day. But yeah, I just thought you would, I would tell you my morning drama because it's really not dramatic at all, but so unnecessary. Like why did it take me so long to get not that far? LA things. Anyway, okay, let's go have a fun through today. I'm so excited. I always do this when we're together. I film like main channel stuff and then it's like time to say goodbye and I'm like, oh, whoops, we were together for <laughs> here's proof three of hours life. probably. Yeah, literally. <laughs> I think I got here at nine. It's yeah. almost one. So actually a very long time, but we had a nice, lovely little thrifting day. It was great. We both filmed some videos and now it's like already time to say goodbye because I have to drive back to beat traffic because I'm not trying to sit in two more hours of traffic going home. So that's just part of living in LA anyways. Just wanted to show you that yes, she indeed was here and we were together, but we will catch oh, up wait, in a wait. bit. Oh, okay. what? So if we are gonna say goodbye. That's right, I totally forgot. Alexa got me a birthday present, even though she just spoiled me rotten. I feel like for they will like it. They will like it. They will like it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh my Stanley was still in here. Oh. I would have cried. <laughs> if I would have left without my Stanley. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. You did not have to do this. <gasps> you wrapped it? I did. Oh. Well, uh, okay. Yeah, it's a little wrapped. Okay, so I, I like because originally I was like, oh, we're gonna hang out on the 27th. It has to arrive before the oh, 27th. No. no, it's all I didn't pay extra for shipping or anything. Yeah. But okay. I'm nervous. Ah! <laughs> what is it? What's it gonna be? Okay, it feels like clothing. Oh, I'm so nervous. What? I'm so nervous. Why? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> I love it! This is my new Oh my god. At first I was like, wait, is she gonna show me like a pregnancy test or something? And I was like, I don't think she would want me to Happy film birthday. that. Thank you. Um, can I tell you a secret? Yes. Do you have a matching one? Please tell me you have a matching one. Yes! <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Oh my god, I love it so much. It's like really soft with you. It like stretch it. It's like it's such a nice baby Perfect. Oh my god, wait, we have to we have to coordinate a day yeah. where we Match in these. I oh like, my I'm god. Finally, I'm finally a Swift yes. so I can like. It's be finally. Part of it. I've been yeah. waiting years for this. <gasps> this is the best. Thank you so much. Why were you nervous about me not liking it? I don't know. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's perfect. I, was, I, I would totally wear it with what I'm wearing today. <gasps> I've showed it to everyone. I'm I've been, obsessed. I've been like, look at, is, what, I, look at John what I bought. Love it? Yeah, he's like, oh, that's amazing. Oh. I was like, I should have gotten you one. I know, match. we could have been dropped. Oh my god, I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, that's, that's an amazing birthday present. I would have been thrilled to open it on my birthday, but I'm even more excited now. Yeah, um, I did cancel my birthday party. I think I mentioned that. I was having like 20 people over and then all of a sudden I, was, I just got the ick. I was like, I don't want yeah, 20 no. people at my house. No. So thank you so much. That is so sweet. I love it. Okay, I'm home. Listen to how hard it's raining right now. I'm obsessed. I'm only halfway dressed because, okay, I got home. I filmed my haul. I look like an egg right now. <laughs> I filmed my haul um, of all the thrift stuff that I got because if I don't do it like right when I get home, honestly, it's not gonna happen. And then I started the laundry of all of the stuff that I bought. And I, while I have even just a tiny shred of energy left, I'm going to get a workout in. I feel high on life right now. I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like I just love my friends. <laughs> you should feel like this when you're done hanging out with your friends. You should feel like happy and supported and uplifted and yeah, I just feel really good. Anyways, okay. I have to get changed and do this workout. It is so dark in here. Can you hear the rain? It's kind of hard because I have a fan on in here, but literally listen to this. Wait, I need to crack this window. I fucking love it. All right, let's do this workout because otherwise I'm gonna crash and it's not gonna be good. All right, done with my workout, showered, nice and clean. You can hear we're making dinner in the background. We're just doing chicken, vegetables, and frozen mashed potatoes because we're just feeling exceptionally lazy and we really don't have that many groceries so there we have it it's looking good i thought i would give you no one asked for this but a little snack review of the snacks that we showed earlier so we have these rhythm organic kale chips they're in a zesty nacho flavor which i realized have no dairy there's no nacho cheese so they're nacho cheese flavored these are, those are good, I know. Drew's eating another thing in the background going. These are interesting. They taste really good at first, and then it's just like. It's very bitter at the end. Yeah, it just hits you with the kale taste, but like, not in a good way. It's just like, ooh. But like, I'm still eating them, so. In case you want to see what they look like, they look like that. And I've been eating them a little bit, but yeah. The aftertaste is not good. These are so good. I know. Everything Siete is like so good. Um, next thing. These salt and vinegar pistachios. Yeah. 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 Holy moly. We're almost done with the entire bag. Like they are heavenly. Oh my God. 10 out of 10. Absolutely. 12 out of 10. Cause I think we've had like salt and vinegar almonds before. Didn't we go through like a phase? All the time. These are unbelievable. Oh my God. So I didn't read these. These probably get like the taste is like 8.5, but then afterwards it's like, ugh. But I mean, I'm definitely gonna finish it. These, 13 out of 10. 10. <laughs> These Mexican chocolate cookies are amazing. We've also had the Mexican wedding ones. Oh. <gasps> they're the white ones, right? You can like see they're, him, yeah. like, they're like slightly frosted. Kind of. I think there's like powdered sugar or something. He goes, oh. These bad boys, my stars. Well, I know we're about to eat dinner, but I don't care. These are so delicious. And the fact that they're like gluten-free and vegan. Mm, mm, mm. Alexa, have you tried these? Let me know. <laughs> you need to. They're amazing. Anywho, that's been my snack review corner. I hope you enjoyed. Snack review. We did end up, God, this lighting is just so tragic. Not me having to turn on all my lights. Um, We did end up watching Mr. Bates versus the post office on ITV last night. Oh my God. Well, I think we watched it over the course of like two days. It was so 
good it was so crazy like obviously we had no idea that that even happened so then we saw that there's an actual documentary with the real mr bates mr allen so we're gonna have to watch that but if you're in the uk or if you have a vpn and you can watch uk tv on itv definitely recommend mr bates versus the post office it was amazing oh also over the weekend we watched american nightmare i think it's called on netflix i had never heard of that case never knew it had happened and it was truly insane like a roller coaster ride i don't want to spoil anything but it was something completely different than what i thought it was gonna be like it was so crazy and i was so angry by the end of it like so so angry anyway strongly recommend i actually told my mom to watch it and she binged the entire thing today what? the american nightmare I'm, i told my mom to watch it all one day too mm -hmm. it's so good it's like one of the better netflix docuseries if you're into like kind of true crime or just that type of thing like just crazy things that happen um definitely definitely recommend that but anyway our dinner's almost ready we're gonna eat dinner, watch our shows. We've been re-watching Insecure. Uh, it used to be on HBO and now it's on Netflix. And it's like one of our favorite shows ever. So we decided to just like start re-watching it for when we eat dinner at our coffee table that turns into a table. <laughs> Cause we're lazy and I love it. So much good TV to watch. And then we gotta watch Love Island, of course. Lord. So much TV, so little time. All right, and here's my plate. We have, here's my pointer. We have some farmer's market vegetables with a tiny bit of Parmesan cheese and balsamic glaze. We have some uh, mashed potatoes and we have some chicken with barbecue sauce, duh. Delicious. Even though no one asked or cared, I would like to announce that I am addicted to Diet Coke again. We go through phases, she and I, Miss Diet. We've been through a lot together. I am currently on the diet or the caffeine free diet. I don't regret it at all. It's delicious. It makes me happy. Let me have my one little thing. And you're back on Coke. <laughs> all right, it is the end of the night. I'm cozy in bed and I'm getting ready to start my book before I end this vlog. I finished the book called um, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow last night. I'm sorry, everyone was obsessed with it. Like everyone was raving about this book. They were like, I sobbed my eyes out, it was crazy. And like there were definitely parts about the book that I enjoyed. Like there were, you know, moments of it that I thought were great, but I didn't, I was ready for it to be over. It felt so long and drawn out. I didn't particularly love any of the characters. There was one character that I liked, but I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but like something, you know. Anyways, and I don't know if this is me just being like, uneducated but it felt like there were just unnecessary big words like it did they didn't need to be like there were just words where i was like huh words like jejun it just felt a little it felt a little like unnecessary but that's just my opinion don't don't you know worry about what i think i'm just gonna stick to what i know like i don't need to read outside of what i'm comfortable with like when i read before bed i just want to read like my little thrillers or things like that so i'm starting another freedom mcfadden book because it's just my comfort zone it's what i know it's what i love i just realized my fan and my sound machine are both on we actually started that during the pandemic when we had our noisy neighbors and now it helps as well because we have a dog that barks outside in the middle of the night I actually heard it through my earplugs last night, but anyways. Thank you so much for hanging out with me over the last few days and for watching this vlog. Hopefully this lighting isn't too messed up. I'm just realizing it's kind of wacky in the camera. It's my like galaxy light thingy. There it is. But yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out and we will see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye.